first question for the first executive producer we've gotten so far is uh, the storyline with Kate that you have going that you guys have had going on for the last two seasons. Are we going to kind of see a conclusion to that with the finale, or is that going to be an ongoing thing that we're going to keep that's going to keep going? Or well, I think. Kate's always going to be have a place in Neil's life, but uh, what's great about the finale and what's great about the way I think the season wraps up is uh, we're able to bring that all to a head, and everything that we've spent the year setting up, everything that Neil's been chasing, everything that he's been looking for, gets answered and revealed, and uh, we hope that there's some closure. Uh, and then at the same time, it opens up this completely new chapter in his life. Do you, as a writer, you're a writer on the show, right? As a yes. writer, uh, do you prefer doing the episodic arc episodes or the individual um, standalones? Uh, you know, I think that the ones with some uh, episodic uh, arc are a lot of fun because we get to dig into the characters a little deeper and try to find something that's going to you know, lead to the next to lead to the next episode. But we really try to have something in every episode. Um, we feel like this is a show that's very rich in character, so we're always looking for ways to deepen and explore that. Like, say, my favorite episode is probably like the Burke Seven and the flashback episodes. Like those are really, really good. Is there any? Anything that sticks out in your mind? I know picking between your children or whatever, but is there one that really shines for you? Um, I have had so much fun. There's probably something in every episode I can pick out that I've enjoyed a line or uh, a moment. Um, uh, the first episode I ever did, I kind of, uh, you know, the a lot of meaning for me is The Prisoner's Dilemma, where we got to see Mozzie's hideout for the first oh, time. Oh, that was, that's fantastic. And, um, I still remember, you know, the, the line, Tuesday has no phones, uh, just thinking about his hideout. That is actually a quote I have written down that I asked <laughs> Willie about. I asked him about him staying on his Tuesday on Wednesday, like, I love that. That's like my favorite, some of my favorite stuff right there. Yeah, so, Mozzie is, is a really fun character, right? They, they all are. Such a, such a, you know, he's knowledgeable and relevant and wise and yet also goofy and quite a little bit off and it's just a lot of fun. Is there any clues you can give us about season four coming up? Um, in, in the third season, we really start to... I said to four, sorry, three. Yeah, uh, we really start to explore a, a new dynamic between Peter and Neil. Um, their relationship is always kind of growing and that's really the, the heart of the show. Uh, the, what happens in the season finale launches Neil in a totally new direction. Um, and so that has aftershocks that you throughout season three. And my final question is that um, this part, this is a video for Weedonopolis and the audio is for TV Campfire where we discuss some of the best TV shows on, on television. I have like three or four people and we talk about it. We talk about White Collar on our podcast. And I've been trying to convince the, the listeners that they should be watching White Collar. What can you say to the fans and say, like, why should they be watching the show right now? White Collar is fun. Uh, it's a blast to work with these characters. They always surprise you. Neil is charming. Um, there's a romance to it and a glamour to it uh, that I think is missing in a lot of shows. And at the end of the day, you just, it's a lot of fun to watch, watch these guys uh, do their thing.